Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to add keys and secret to Azure Key Vault. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Watch, this is my key vault and that the one, the one that we created in the previous video. And so if you would come to the partial window again and just type in CLS here, you will come to this window prompt here. And uh, what you can do is we can add a software protected key to the key vault using the command that I'll run. Be sure to change the, be sure to change and uh, with the value that you want to put in when you are trying to copy paste like I do from the Microsoft official documentation. So I'm going to pause the video and copy and then paste, uh, paste the command here. All right, so the command is this. I'm storing a value of this key under into the dollar key value. I have replaced the name here. Well, this would be the name. This would be the name of my key test as a lab key, and I'm going to click on enter. Okay. Now, if I go to my key vault here, and I click on keys here under settings tab. And if I'm going to click on my this key that I've created, and if I click on it, this is the key, the current version. If you click on it here, this would give you the date and the type, the key identifier, and uh, all of the information and the perm operations, that, the permitted operations that it has access to. Now, if you go back to the key here, if you click on the current version, and this is the key identifier here. So, if you click on here, if you go here, okay, this is missing. Not a problem. This is the exact version we're on. Okay, now if you would move back to the PowerShell window here, if you would see this. To display the current version of the key, enter the following command. It would be dollar, and I'll press enter. This is the current version of the key. And to view the key you just created, you can use the get Azure key vault key commandlet. So if and uh, you can view the key as well, like we did from the portal. And if you want to add a secret to the key wallet. Now let's say I have had I have my key. Now I want to add a secret to my key wallet. You will uh, to do this. We'll add a variable named secret value to the code. It would be this. Now next, add the secret to the vault with this command. Then I'm going to paste here. This one set easy key vault secret. This is the vault name. And uh, this is the secret, and the secret value is the secret value that I created, declared in the previous command. I click on enter. Now, if I go back to my Azure portal and I go in here, and if I click on secrets, it is is it still creating it? Hold on, hold on. Let me check it and come back. Okay, so I've got my secret created here and if you click on here the name of this secret is uh, secret password and this is the current version of this uh, secret password and now in uh, now we'll forward this video and we'll create a client application so we will enable the client application to access the azure sql database service this will be done by setting up the required authentication and acquiring the application ID and secret that we will need to authenticate the application. So we are in the Azure portal and we're going to navigate to the Azure Active Directory here. Let me just minimize it a little bit. Okay. Looks good. Now under the app registrations, you see the, here under the manage. You see the app registration tab. Click on it. I'm going to click on a new registration. I'm going to provide the name as SQL app. 
and under the redirect UI, I'm going to select web and it will be HTTPS SQL app and I'm going to click on register. All right. So once this is complete, I'm going to copy the application ID here. So this one, copy it and keep it onto the notepad because we're going to need it later. I'm going to go back here and if you would see certificates and secrets, click on it and click on new client secret. Enter the description as a key one. Expires in one year and then click on add. I'm going to copy this value as well because if I would not copy it, it's going to not be visible later. Client this to make sure I remember what I did. Okay, now I'm going to add a key vault policy allowing the application access to the key vault. So in the Azure portal, I am going to open up my resource group. I'm going to go back or I'm going to open that up in the separate window here. It will come in after a few seconds. I'm going to go to my resource group in which I created my key vault. Here it is. And this will take me to my key vault and I'm going to click on access policies. Here it is. Remember I created an access policy for my account at the beginning or in the pre in one of the previous videos. Here you see my ID here as well. Select it and inside the key permissions click on select all like this and click on save. It's very important to click on save because if you will not click on save, the permissions will not be committed. I'm going to run these in the PowerShell to store these values. So it would be like this. Go back, go here, pull up my cloud shell, go here. Then I'm going to come back. I'm going to do it for all. I'm going to pause and come back. And then I'm going to run this command set az keyboard access policy with all these IDs. And I'm going to do this. Copy. Paste. And enter. So that is how you work with the keyboard secrets and the registering an application and storing the secrets in the key vault. So I hope this was informative for all of you guys. I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a good day ahead. Bye-bye.